My name is Ron Hedgecock, and I think I have what it takes to be the sole survivor. I work right now in full-time youth ministry. I think something that I'm really good at that I would love to do on the show is to take a bunch of outsiders on the island that people don't get along with as much and bring them together and at the end of the game be the head of that uh, group. Uh, one thing that I think is super unique about me that no other Survivor contestant uh, I believe can say is that I have spent eight summers working at different camps. So I've done a lot of different jobs at camp and I think something that's really unique about camp is it's an environment where you're with new people you haven't met before for an extended period of time that you wouldn't necessarily get along with in the real world. Um, but I think that camp has taught me how to focus on one thing really well 24-7. When you're at camp, you never disengage, you can never um, be off. You always have to be on, you always have to be 100% uh, into what you're doing <clears throat> all the time. Uh, one thing I think I'm pretty good at is I think I've learned how to be really patient with kids that I've met. Um, whether they're seven-year-olds that are homesick, or 16-year-olds that are really inappropriate, uh, or uh, middle schoolers that are just really awkward. I think I have a um, high tolerance for people that are annoying. Uh, I am a big enough Survivor fan that one time when I was at camp, I actually played a Jeff Probst. <clears throat> we had a thing that we did where we voted one of the counselors off the island. Uh, and I dressed up like Jeff Probst. I got to do all of his lines. I got to snuff a torch. Uh, it was literally a dream come true for me. Uh, the only thing I think that could have been even more of a survivor dream come true for me would obviously be being, me being on the show. Sagwa, the tribe has spoken. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for you to go. Good luck, my friends. <laughs>